hello, hello everyone. Uh, this is my test PPT. Uh, made by me, as you can see, my name. Uh, so this is the contents of what you see in my PPT. Uh, as you can see, I've listed out. Uh, next one. And this is my projects. Uh, the link. Yes. Project. Alright, uh, so this is my list of projects. Uh, technically, there's more than eight, but I mix them so it's more simple. First, uh, first one I've done is Turing Spanish and Cambridge. Basically, uh, Turing Cambridge was to teach uh, children uh, to improve on their English. And for Spanish, it was originally planned for six weeks, but however, it extended until like before my grade 12 mock exams. And for this one, I've attended an international Zoom call, uh, MUN, uh, hosted by Harvard, uh, as, as you can see. Um, it was, uh, I basically had to think of ideas to solve carbon emission. And I've discussed with my previous uh, cast coordinator, which was Teacher Rafael, and he deemed it, uh, he counted it as creativity. Uh, so, learning magic. So. I also talked to teacher Raphael about learning magic, and he also counted it as creativity as long as I showed performance. So I did learn magic, and I did perform it. However, I couldn't perform it in a grander scale due to COVID restrictions. So I had to perform it in small venues, such as the sports place, or in front of my family. Uh, physical activities. Uh, basically, the goal of physical ac activities was basically not to, uh, I mean, lo losing weight would be beneficial, however, uh, it was to maintain uh, a balanced lifestyle because uh, my my what do you call this? My work schedule was very bad, and um, my time management was also bad, as everyone mentioned. So I tried to fit in uh, exercise into it. So during after school, I would do either football or uh, football uh, from like soccer or boxing. Uh, Howard can vouch for me for boxing. For a weekend, I went hiking with my family. Uh, my mom and teacher JP can vouch for hiking. And for home physical activities, uh, it's basically when I don't have enough time, so I would just basically go on the floor and just like, do push-ups. That's it. Uh, next one. So I've done beach cleaning, as mentioned by my classmates. I joined uh, Byron's group to volunteer, uh, go to Chiang City and clean the edges of the beach. We also, uh, back in grade 11, we also um, did this project, the barbecue project, where we planned for about like three to four weeks before the barbecue. And we basically, uh, it's to help re relieve the stress after you guys had your exams. So yes. Uh, this one, that one counts as, uh, uh, I forgot what it was, but T. Rafael said it counts as activity, because as long as I, participate in a competition. Uh, that's what he said. So I counted it as my cast project. Um, this took me actually uh, two years. But however, uh, as you can see in 2021, uh, Taiwan's Open Competition, it was canceled due to COVID restrictions. And my original plan was to be in Taiwan's top 100. And I think the number 100 spot, you have to be faster than 8.59 seconds. So as you can see on my time, uh, my best time is 16 seconds and my average is 25 seconds. So it was not very fast. So this one was baseball assistant. Basically me and Edward, uh, we uh, volunteered to work as assistants for a baseball coach. Basically we just pick up balls and throw balls at children. <laughs> that, that sounds weird, I'm sorry. All right, uh, to the PPT. Back to the PPT. Oh, yeah. So my greatest uh, challenge, basically, um, as everyone mentioned, is time management. Uh, in my class, I probably have the worst time management, and I, I, I do everything last minute. Uh, my, the teachers can tell me that I do everything last minute. Uh, there are times I forget certain exams or tests. I think there was one time I forgot one uh, chemistry exam and one business management exam. I forgot their date, and yeah, I do everything last minute. I also have a very bad discipline. Because some search, uh, certain projects require discipline, for example, such as physical activities or Rubik's Cube. Uh, it is hard to do, but you must do it. And organ um, how I overcome them is by trying to organize my time more. So it helps give a flow to my plans. It eases the stress and pressure 
of doing last minute activities or assignments and gives more free time to do projects. So if I were to compare myself to uh, first day of grade 11, I would say myself right now has better, uh, t uh, has better time management. Um, so, Madison, time between choice and uh, commitments. So, urges. Urges are the things I want to do, which is shown below, which is a waste of time, which is my choice. Playing games, procrastinating, or sleeping. Projects and schools are unnecessary as it shapes your future. Thus, you are given two choices. Choice or commitment. I'm given a choice between either urges or focusing on the things that are important. Thus, it is important to commit to projects and school. However, from time to time, I would indulge myself in the urges to blow steam, such as playing games or procrastinating, but I procrastinate more. Learning of oneself and others. Uh, since most of my uh, projects are basically uh, by myself, I, I didn't. I, the only time I worked with others was, I think, beach cleaning and the barbecue. But basically, uh, what I learned for myself is I have potential to do more. And from my Spanish tutoring, I can be more patient and I can be more creative. I'll explain later how. And basically, I, I can take more risks and basically getting out of my comfort zone. Uh, the others, I found, was it's easier to work with others. And if you have more brains than one, more ideas and pitches can be made. So abilities and skills during my CAS project, I've learned is to uh, persistence to continue working my projects while juggling with school, as it is important to balance both. Time management, as I've mentioned, I've improved on it. Clear focus, uh, so basically, I had a bad clear focus. However, with the help of my cast projects, I was able to learn to focus on one thing, because there were times I would juggle EE and my IA, which then led to me uh, being over the uh, deadline for EE. So, yeah. Uh, next one is communication skills. Uh, since I had to do most of my projects alone, and I had to communicate with some teachers, for example, the homeroom teacher of IC grade two, or uh, some of the coordinators to do my projects. Next is creativity and patience, which we'll, uh, we will talk about later. Adaptability and flexibility. So adaptability is basically like where you adapt to the future problems, and while flexibility is you adapt to the current problems. So for example, adaptability, if the temperature suddenly gets hot, you would have to adapt to that. Our flexibility is basically like if you don't have a pen, uh, if you have a pen and your friend doesn't have a pen, then you would have to give your pen. So something like that you're flexible enough to help others. So these are the cast stages. I just took this from uh, Google. So knowing about the cast stages, uh, it's easier, simpler, and it's very organized. As you can see, you investigate, you prepare, and you do the action. For the future news, I would say in my eyes, it can be used to organize events such as birthday parties or um, any party in general, or you can also use it for future work or projects. So global importance. As I mentioned, most of my cast projects are not focused on global importance. Uh, I had a lot of unused ideas that benefit the community. Um, they're really unused, like for one, either going to an orphanage or an elderly home. However, um, due to COVID and language barrier, I was not able to do it. And I tried it in the Philippines, but then also language barrier. Anyways, so during planning, it gave insight to global issues such as pollution and climate change when I joined the beach clean. So, uh, oh no. So for easy, difficult learning outcome, I would say easy, most is one, two, three, four, five, and seven, which is identifying strength, demonstrate the challenges that have been undertaken, Demonstrate how to initiate and plan a cast ex experience. Show commitment to and perseverance in cast experience. Uh, demonstrate the skill and recognize the benefits of working collaboratively and recognize and consider the ethics of your choice and actions. Like I mentioned, most of my cast is solo, so thus I had to initiate and plan by myself. I had to commit and persevere by myself. And there are times I would uh, collaborate with others. The only hard part was number six, which is global engagement. And as I mentioned, uh, there was COVID lockdown, some of the resources, and language barriers. Uh, and I've uh, written down, I was not able to overcome the difficulty. However, I was able to participate in a project that consisted of cleaning a beach, uh, thanks to Byron. Uh, so this is my me most memorable, pro uh, memorable project, was during Spanish. It was a solo project. My goal was to teach Spanish. 
uh, originally planned for one semester, extended due to students requesting for more, and I taught Spanish from grade 11 to 12. And as you can see here, uh, it was supposed to last for, oh, it was supposed to last for six weeks. Yeah, here, six weeks. Uh, however, the students said they needed more, and the parents said, okay. So I was like, okay, I have to, time, I have to manage my time more. So I did it, and my last Spanish class was before my mock exams, uh, which was this year, around January, so yeah. So reflection, uh, reflection is very important as it gives insight into mistakes and uh, find ways to improve. It also made me think about my projects more thoroughly, like future projects, projects that had more impact for me or the community, or reflecting on my work also gave me ways to better myself and how I could improve myself. So for example, my uh, Spanish tutoring, it improved on my patience and creativity to help engage the students and keep their attention to Spanish. So advice, think big but small, think wide but narrow, think creatively but simple, do many but not too many. Basically, dream big but be realistic. Thank you. Uh, anyone has questions? Okay, no one.